I'm Gulam Ali from ilmkinani.com. I'm here at UNSW Australia. I have uh, Marisa Cardosa, Assistant Director, International Recruitment. Uh, thank you, Marisa, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, I have prepared a number of questions with the help of a number of prospective Pakistani students. And uh, we also uh, provided a facility on our website to the Pakistani students to put uh, their questions while I visit uh, University of New South Wales. With the help of those uh, suggestions and uh, with our own preparation, we have compiled a number of questions that she has uh, gratefully ready uh, uh, to answer now. Uh, can you introduce uh, UNSW? Sure. UNSW was established in 1949, so we've been a university for just over 60 years now. So 2009 was uh, the year of our 60th anniversary. Um, we've been taking in international students since 1951. So within two years of becoming a university, we've had a substantial cohort of our students from all over the world. A member of the group of eight um, universities within Australia, which are the, the, the top research universities within Australia. We're a foundation member of Universitas 21. Um, and we, um, I know rankings are important everywhere. Yes, yeah. um, one of the more popular ranking systems people look at too is the Times Higher Education right. rankings. Um, currently we're number 47. Oh, uh, we, we think that's quite an achievement seeing as we're... And we're that's a, in the whole world, right? Yes, yes. But in our world rankings we're number 47. Yeah. Um, so we've been in the top 50 for quite some time. And we see that as a great achievement for a university that's relatively young compared to many universities in the world. Uh, there are a number of Pakistani students uh, who feel difficulty in finding the right course and program. Uh, can you suggest some online resources where they can find the right information? There are. Um, that students can look at. Um, our website is a great resource to find out about our many courses. As you noted, we're a very large and very comprehensive university and we offer in over 700 different combinations of programs. So there's quite a lot to choose from. We always recommend for students, it's not so much looking for the course, but what you want after that. What kind of career do you want? Where do you want to be? So working back from that will influence them as to which course they would take at university. The majority of students um, that we have here from Pakistan are studying at a postgraduate level, at a master degree level, um, generally in an engineering based program, but also in public health, um, design and commerce. In addition to general online information on UNSW website, does university provide any kind of person-to-person -person guidance to students? Sure, um, we actually have an inquiries um, database here within this office. Um, students can email in with inquiries about particular courses or they're thinking of studying um, something in particular. We do travel overseas as well and UNSW has been travelling to Pakistan for a number of years. Um, in country we work very closely with two um, education agents so students are welcome to go in and visit them. They're education agents that represent us and all of the programs that we offer but also other universities too. Are there any UNSW recognized education agents in Pakistan? Yes, um, we work, uh, we, UNSW has a very conservative approach to education agents. We have very few in comparison to many of our colleagues. Um, we have only two, so we work with RMT and AEO within Pakistan. Uh, Ms. Marisa, do you recommend students to go to education agents instead of applying directly to UNSW? Um, not at all. But students are welcome to do both. Um, if a student is comfortable applying online, um, filling in all the details themselves, they are more than welcome to do that. Um, if they would prefer to have some assistance um, with their application process, they are welcome to go um, visit one of our education agents. Um, the, the resources and advice that agents provide to students is free. Um, so it, it is a free service that we make available to students because we cannot be in country all the time. Well, there are some education agents in Pakistan who demand huge amount in the name of service charges. Can you suggest some guidelines in this matter to Pakistani students? Okay. 
my, my understanding, the, the agents that work with UNSW, the help and advice that they provide to students is free. It's free. Um, yes. Many um, agents would also help with the visa process, which can be quite a long process. Students will be charged for a visa to Australia, oh, well, regardless. Fee. Yeah. Um, so my understanding that the only fee that they would face would be that fee. So let me rephrase that any student applying to UNSW through AEO or RMT don't have to pay any service charges? No, no they don't. Uh, in addition to the regular programs that UNSW offer, uh, do you provide any distance learning opportunities? We do. Um, to name a few, we teach a um, Master of um, Health Administration um, by distance learning and also we have a Master of Business Technology by distance learning. Um, they're both recognised as for UNSW degrees. Um, the, the fees for those programmes are the same and um, students um, can remain within their own country and study with us here at UNSW. Is the admission procedure to distance learning programs same to those of regular programs? It is the same. I have a question. What is the fee payment schedule for the students who have been granted uh, admission in UNSW? There's a, there are a couple of um, charges that happen throughout an application process. So if a student um, gets one of our, our brochures and they fill in a paper application and send it to us, the cost is normally 100 Australian dollars. Um, students who apply online um, through one of our agents or actually just apply online direct can get their fee waived at the moment, so there is no application fee. If a student is made an offer to UNSW, so we look at their qualifications, um, there are a good student, um, they're suitable for the program that they have selected to come. Um, we make that student an offer. When a student accepts an offer, they need to pay a deposit to UNSW. Currently that is $4,000. It means that a student has to pay the fee before applying for a visa? Yes, so that, that holds their place, the $4,000 holds their place. If they change their mind, we do refund most of the money apart from a $500 admin fee. But if they do come, we then take that $4,000 out of their first semester of fees. Does UNSW offer any type of uh, financial aid or scholarship to international students? We tend to put more of our scholarship money towards our students undertaking research. What we learn at a university, it, it is, but it's also what we learn at research um, enables us to then build that into our coursework programs and our bachelor programs. In the end, it's seen as having the greatest good um, for everyone. Um, we have a number of um, scholarships that international students can apply for, um, particularly at a research level. A again, our website has lots of information. We have a scholarships database so they can put in where they're from, um, what level they're looking at or what discipline area and it will list any scholarships they're eligible for.